Yes, I really want to tell about my latest miracle so that you will tell about your miracles. Because as we all know, miracles are here for everybody. Well, some weeks back, I noticed I had a lump on my nose. It had been there for some time, but I just didn't take any notice of it. And then in one week, it started to grow quickly. So the doctor said, I'll take it off and send it away for a biopsy. Well, the biopsy came back, saying it was an invasive cancerous tumour. And I was then given an appointment with the hospital the following week. And there, the, uh, the wonderful doctor, I had a great doctor, he cut out, he cut it all out as, and, and a bit more, he said. And he also cut a hole so that the following week he'd be able to do a skin graft. And then he sent it all away to the pathologist. So I then said, God, I don't want cancer and I don't want a skin graft. So what do you want me to think, do or say that will ensure this? And the message came, Mary, just think of my beautiful healed nose and don't let any negative thought come in and don't let any doubts come in. So I felt drawn to put my hands up and to breathe in to my beautiful healed nose. And I did that for the whole week. I went back to my appointment the following week to have the skin graft. And the pathologist test came back and it said, no cancer. And the doctor said, and you don't have to have a skin graft. But he could not understand what it was all about. He kept reading and reading and reading it all over, over and over. The biopsy test and the pathologist test. And, and during that time, both he and the pathologist and the, the people doing the biopsy and my own doctor, they were confused and talking and wondering what was the real answer. And I said, you won't find another answer because I prayed. And that is the answer. And the doctor said, well, whatever you were doing, keep on doing it because it works. But he said, I've dug a hole and I filled up the hole and the, the wound with a gel so that it would be open for me to do the skin graft. Well, the hole is gone. It's filled up. He said, I wish that would happen for me in the garden. So after that, I said, God, I'm so grateful to you for helping me to heal this cancer and, have, and give me a miracle. And I said, God, how do you want me to show my gratitude? And the answer was, tell as many people as you can to give them my hope that the miracle is there for them no matter what it is. Everybody can have a miracle no matter what. Isn't that a wonderful thing that God is saying to us? That you can have a miracle too. It doesn't matter what it is. It is there for you. So I hope we will very soon hear about your miracle. Thank you for listening.